written by sheer chance are four to the 250,000th power, and that's generous. To think that it just accidentally got that way. Evolution tells us we're just an accident, the result of random chance. The complexity of living systems could never evolve by chance. That the probability that a protein containing just 100 amino acids would form spontaneously is less than one chance in 10 to the 65th power. An event so improbable that it could be compared to winning the state lottery by finding the winning ticket in the street and then continuing to find the winning ticket in the street every week for a thousand years. Ah, the bogus probability calculation. The best friend of the creationist trying to convince the uneducated that it's too improbable to happen, so God must have done it. Well, let's take a look at some probabilities, shall we? Let's take a 10 by 10 grid and 100 specific objects to place in that grid. The probability of placing the first object in the first specific location is 1 in 100. The probability of placing the next object in the next specific location is 1 in 99. So the probability of placing both objects in both specific locations is about 1 in 10,000. Similarly, the probability of placing the next object in the next specific location is 1 in 98. So the probability of placing the first three objects in the first three specific locations is about 1 in a million. Similarly, the probability of placing the first four objects in the first four specific locations is about 1 in a hundred million. The probability of placing all the balls in all the correct specific locations is about 1 in 10 to the power of 157. An event so improbable that, that it could be compared to winning the state lottery by finding the winning ticket in the street and then continuing to find the winning ticket in the street every week for, for a million years. So why do I mention this? Well, let's take a look at a random pebble. It contains about a billion, billion, billion atoms, each in a specific location. Well, what's the probability of this happening by sheer chance or just an accident? Well, to give you some perspective on this, Merely to place the first atom in this first specific location is about one in a billion, billion, billion. A chance so remote that if I were to give you a million chances per second, it would on average take you about 3,000 billion years to place the first atom. That's about a hundred times the age of the universe. Now this isn't the probability of getting all the atoms in the, in the right location to begin with. This is the probability of actually giving these atoms what are the chances of having them in this specific configuration. So what does this calculation show? That pebbles are infinitely improbable, so God must have made them? Well, no. Actually, this is a field of chemistry known as statistical thermodynamics. Any configuration is almost infinitely improbable. However, ultimately, no matter how improbable, the system must exist in a state. In this sense, the creationist probability calculation is utterly pointless. All they have done is calculate the probability of a single state. The populations of states explored by a system are not governed by chance, but by chemistry, essentially the electromagnetic force. This too is a factor the creationists simply do not take account of. It's like dropping a ball and asking, what are the chances of the ball falling randomly in a specific direction? Again, it's trivial to show that the chances of a ball falling repeatedly in a constant direction are essentially infinitely improbable. However, ultimately, the direction a ball falls in is not governed by chance or by accident, but by the gravitational force. Just as the population of states explored in the chemical system is not governed by chance or by accident, but by the electromagnetic force.